All right, Todd here from Jeep Speed Shop, here to talk about the Lingenfelter fan controller for the pulse modulated Camaro fan that we use. So here's the fan controller. Here's where we mount it. We mount it under the dash. The reason why is so it stays out of weather because it doesn't handle weather and it also stays away from heat because it doesn't like heat. So here are the settings. So on the start side, on the, or I guess it would be yeah, the low temp or start temp would be at, on the tens, zero, at the 100s, two. So that'd make it 200. And then on the max output, both on two. So that would make it 220. This setting here is at zero, okay? So now we're gonna talk about wiring. So here's the harness, here's the pigtail that we get, all right? The red wire goes to fused hot inside the tip of them, and I'll talk about that in a minute. Fused hot, black is ground, and then we have, it is the purple and brown go to the sensor, and the sensor we have in our build and material list, it's actually from a Chevrolet. And then we have the yellow, which goes to the fans, okay? Or fan, let me correct that, not fans, fan. And then the white actually goes to the power side of the compressor for the air conditioning. So that will give the fan 30% with AC on, and then when it gets to the max setting that we just set it at, it'll go to 100%. All right, we're gonna go underneath the hood. And in this Jeep, this is the fuse tap we use for the fan. All right, this is the location that we used in this Jeep. This is keyed power, and this is where we put it, okay? So as you'll see under the hood, I mean, there's the fan, right? And that uh, yellow wire that we we're talking about will go to the wire that's here. These two wires, the two hots, go right here so there's the hot wire from the fan and we use a hundred amp fuse and then the other one would go to the ground oh, you know what i think we grounded it actually on the chassis but or you could do it to the battery all right so one's ground one's hot this is the fuse we use 100 amp and we cut the plug off so i'm going to walk over to a fan that we have so, <laughs> so we're gonna go over to a couple fans that I have over here, and a couple Jeeps that we're working on. So here's one out of my red Jeep. This is the fan. So as it's positioned here on the right is the negative side, on the left is the positive side. And then we cut the plug off, solder it, and then add some length of wire, and then we use that 100 amp fuse bolt right to the battery. And both of these were on the battery, so obviously ground is black and red is hot, goes right to the battery. And then back to that yellow wire, which goes to the controller. Um, this is how we wire it. This is how we do them all, um, and it works perfectly. If you change sensors because they don't work or for whatever reasons, then I can't say it's gonna work perfectly. So, and there's the sensor right there that we use. It's in my building material list. It's actually from a GM car and it seems to work the best. The problem is you need to tap, drill and tap that to 3 8 pipe. And we do it on all of them. I know what happens, they work great, no problems. But if you alter from that, do it differently, I can't tell you how it's gonna work for sure. So, but this is what we do. We've been doing it now for years and it works out perfectly. All right, well, here's another fan. We're actually doing some modifications to this Jeep and we'll talk about that in a later date. All right, well, Jeep Speed Shop, out.